Hi, I'm Laura Pazzaglia, founder of HipPressureCooking.com. Welcome to Kuhn Switzerland. Kuhn Recon. Kuhn Recon. This is Rene Abek, head of marketing at Kuhn Recon. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to show you the museum, the Kuhn Recon Museum. Um, it's just showing some steps in the evolution of cooking. Okay. Oh, look at this. Wow. So cooking began in a cave, uh, on a fire, open fire, and that's what we're showing here, but obviously we're going into the kitchen now. Okay. What you see here is what they call the, uh, the black kitchen. It was called black kitchen because there was no chimney. Um, so the fire sort of spread and the smoke spread everywhere. This was uh, what a kitchen looked like until around the 18th century. And this table that you're seeing here is how people ate, so food was put directly into the, onto, the, onto the table and these little uh, holes here indicate how big the person was that was sitting at this specific place. So oh, the bigger I the see. hole, the bigger the person eating there. a little porridge and here's a big porridge. Okay. <laughs> it's not the black kitchen anymore, it's the white kitchen. So chimneys were installed so the smoke could go up uh, through the roof and didn't, uh, you know, disturbed too much anymore in the living area and the kitchen at the time was also very often the living area because it was still the only place that was really heated. It was obviously heated with uh, wood um, and you also cooked with wood. At the time it didn't really matter what a pot was, uh, you know, how flat the bottom of a pot was because the, the, the fire could, you know, get there anyway. Um, so it there were different demands in how to produce a pot. The change came when electric hops were invented, and oh. that's basically where the history of Kuhn Recon begins, um, and where the family Kuhn Recon also began producing uh, pots at this place here in Recon. Oh, wow, look at this. So this is one of these first electric hops that were invented that replaced the wood, the wooden fire in uh, many households. At least it replaced it for cooking, uh, heating was still done very often with fire and now is the time where it also was important to produce a bottom flatness and to take care of how the flatness is reacting to heat because as, as, as you know um, the bottom concavity is changing depending on the heat that's being uh, put into this bottom. So it was important now that the pan is flat on the hob because otherwise heat uh, distribution is not equal. And this is the time... Oh yeah, what's this back here? <laughs> These two things. Hmm. <laughs> what you see here is sort of a, um, um, an early pressure cooker, a very early one. It's still aluminium. Um, it could be screwed, uh, sc screw closed. Uh, li likewise over here. Before pressure cookers became modern in uh, households, they were very often used to actually do soap. You have bones in there and Ooh. pressure cooking the bones a lot, so all the uh, stuff came out of the bones and that was what the, the liquid that you had as an end result was what was being used for soap production. Now we drink that. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is already second generation of uh, the Kuhn Recon uh, uh, management. This is uh, Heinrich Kuhn who uh, was replaced by his son Henri Kuhn. Heinrich Kuhn was the founder of the company. Uh, 1926 is when he took over and uh, after his death, that's when his uh, son uh, Henri Kuhn took over and Jacques Kuhn, hit the, the brother of Henri Kuhn. As what are they so, making here? Uh, <laughs> as you can see, this is history that we're looking at. Uh, it's Kuhn Recon history. That's where the Duromatic, and that's what the uh, logo looked like at the time. That's uh, when the Duromatic became uh, famous. Again, aluminium, not like today, stainless steel. And it was used to pressure cook like we do these days. Um, you can still, if I can, um, yeah. You can still recognize, you know, very similar features yeah, to good. today's pots. Oh, uh, somebody put a new pressure valve. Actually, yeah, there's new valves that have come, there is new uh, um, silicon, uh, how do you say? Um, gaskets. Gaskets, thank you, silicon gaskets. Uh, but apart from that, I mean, the mechanism is, is still pretty much the same. And 
what we could also do at the time, this is a feature that doesn't exist anymore, but might be pretty in if we would relaunch that. Yeah. It's, you could uh, cook water and then with this nice little thing, uh, obviously have your coffee. Oh, in fact, the mocha is a tiny pressure cooker. People usually don't know that. So. Right. Yeah, it's really cool. Can you open this one? Can we see it? Or is that it one? okay to open that one? Absolutely. I don't want to break anything in the museum here. We'll see. Okay, let's just see what it looks like. See, here is an invention of Shakuin. Shakuin is still alive. He's 97, I think, Ooh. these days. He's living just behind the factory in a little house. He's married. And uh, he was very, for a long time, he was uh, celibataire. How do you say in English? Single. Single, yeah. And he was a very. Um, he was a person that liked to do, to simplify stuff, so he was cooking and then put his stuff into bowls, but didn't want to actually dishwash the two, both of these things. So he invented the first pan that was also served and looked nice when put on the table with this little tray underneath yes. and this design of the pan. Oh, is it made of stainless steel? Uh, that one, yes. Yeah. That one's already stainless steel. Uh, the lid is aluminium. Oh, leave it to a bachelor to come up with a way to do fewer dishes. So. <laughs> this man here uh, is, uh, the, this gentleman is Jacques Kuhn at a slightly younger age. He was, after the death of his brother, uh, the uh, sole uh, manager of this, of this company for many years. He was also a very gifted inventor and he's come up with the, uh, the uh, valve the spring valve of the pressure cooker and double walled cookware. So was the spring valve an invention of uh, Kuhn Recon? Correct. Yeah. This is the retro model that was done for the 60th anniversary of Duramatic just a few, a few years ago um, and was being sold in a limited edition. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. But the lid is not aluminum, right? No, it's, 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 not, it's stainless steel. Yeah. It's stainless steel that was uh, color coded. What we've seen here is the double wall cookware that I mentioned before. Again, an invention by Jacques Kuhn. This is actually something I used to eat with uh, when I was little. Uh, that's what we had on the, on the table. And the idea was, again, you could cook this on the hob and then you could place it in this little tray and put on the lid. The thing that happened is this: the food is now in, in, in a double wall uh, surrounding everything that is around there is double wall and in between these double walls there is air. Air is a very very bad or is a good isolator mm -hmm. so heat couldn't get away very fast so it keeps your food warm for two hours in there and that was when my brothers and I came home uh, at different times everyone could still eat uh, hot food. Another thing that you can it's do... It's like the first slow cooker. <laughs> right? exactly. Absolutely. That, that, the other thing that you can do in here is actually slow, you know, if you see a, a cross-section of what, it, what, what, what the construction looks like. And it's a huge speciality of Kuhn Recon. Um, I'm not aware of any other company being capable of producing such a cookware. This? What's this here? Again, this is an older model of a pressure cooker. Uh, which is already stainless steel, not aluminium anymore, which does have the, uh, the specific valve, which has also spring a, valve. A, the spring valve, which has a different look these days. But again, functionality wise, this is still uh, what's being used and what's stayed of the art. If you what's this over here? This is, this is a, a prototype? No, it's actually a product that was being sold. Uh, it's sort of the uh, first item that was being... It's like the big brother or the older brother of the Duromatic Comfort. Um, it had a, uh, a timer on top and it did actually time uh, the cooking time it needed to get the stuff done in there. It's not on the market anymore. Um, I think it was launched too early um, and People consumed, weren't ready yeah, for they it weren't yet. ready for it. Um, <laughs> and it's and obviously ever since stuff has Of course now everybody's doing it with the timer. Absolutely. <laughs> and here we're back to the stone age. <laughs> back over there.